I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Nigga, how you smoke weed, nigga? Well, we got it by the peas, nigga. This shit a breeze, nigga. I can do this shit with ease, nigga. Like, fuck you, man, nigga. We got scopes, we got beams, nigga. Back with another one, got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got Jerry West versus Gucci Gotti. It's 40. Stick with it like a fucking commitment. Yeah, I let it dump when I lift it. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, man. And nothing just on the phone with another victim. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. This quarantine got her acting some different. That's the first time she seen me on the phone with a bitch and wasn't tripping. Nigga, don't make me. Hey, what's the B EFB social distance? We're masked up mm -hmm. for a second as we do the intro. You know what I'm saying? My mask is uh, sponsored by Crown Royal. You know what I'm saying? I, I dipped it up and drifted up real nice. You know what I'm saying? And now I got my guy with me, Showtime SP. Uh, we can just go ahead and get into this. I know you ain't got it, I ain't got it, so you know what I mean? It is what it is. What's good, though? Man, listen. This battle was actually very entertaining for it, for them to be in the house and having a Skype call with Smack. Right? Mm -hmm. it, looked, it looked fire to me. I personally liked it. Um, and what better quarantine battle would be from the newest member of EFB versus the, one of the original founding members of EFB? It, it, it made sense, man. And then not to mention it's like getting it out the way. Mm -hmm. I actually want more. I, I really want to see, you know, three, three rounds, rounds of this because it's it it's a little different than people think. Because on the app they got they got Gucci Gotti clearly winning, mm -hmm. but I mean Jerry only off by about twenty k. Mm. So you know that that's it's nothing. Yeah, especially with Gucci Gotti's uh, fan base mm -hmm. and what he does and uh, what he's able to bring to the game. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, before we even get started, I want to say. Uh, one of the big things that I did notice, and I tweeted just not too long ago, I just put it out there. I said, yo, uh, I said, Geechee Gotti treated an internet battle like it was the big stage. Conviction, delivery, aggression, laugh my A off. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, <laughs> and I feel like, salute to Geechee Gotti for my intro. By the fly, I'm gonna recap this and say, Gotti caught a 30 on the time, bro. Headshot is died slow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what I was saying was, like, I, I've seen the internet battles before, right? Mm -hmm. With uh, Mike P versus Tay Rock. Rock. Yep. Now you got Ill Will versus uh, T Rex. T Rex. Mm -hmm. This nigga, like, he's really like rapping, like, like aggression, like he's really like, a, a, like aggressively rapping to this. I'm like, yo, why, why is he going? He was innovative. When you that. start rapping, yo. I mean, he been rapping like that, but like, yeah, you yeah, figured yeah. he was going, you know, take it, take it easy. He was sitting at home. You know he said, uh, he said in response to what I said, he treated it like a main stage battle. He said, he said, that's how we got to treat this shit, bro. That's the only way people going to want to tune in. Mm -hmm. Always appreciate you beyond the bars and you know that. He was just saying that, you know, I picked up something that was small as how he treats an internet battle mm -hmm. where most people would just be sitting in their car like, I told the Smith and I blow your click mm -hmm. and put the nigga six feet and in a social distance. Listen, like they, they just mm -hmm. rap it through bars. Mm -hmm. He's actually like, aggressive and like going through it and you can see the reactions on um smack's face like he was really feeling it now yeah. let me flip the coin to jerry west mm -hmm. jerry west is so what the game needs as far as a new talent is concerned and i like his upgrade in competition mm -hmm. you got rum nitty john john the don mm -hmm. now Gucci Gotti, mm -hmm. all within a span of like a month and a half I like his upgrading competition. I always felt like he was talented. I felt like I liked his bars and what he was able to do and how he puts his shit together. And New York needed that as far as out of New York, fresh talent, somebody that we could look forward to seeing. Mm -hmm. um, Gitchy, I mean, Jerry West, I, I, I was just thinking in my mind, was Gitchy Gotti gonna bring an antic? Was Jerry West gonna bring an antic? Because I know he always does, but what could he bring in an internet battle? Did mm -hmm. you get anything? What, what, what's up? Hey, I got, I got, I got the two. I got the the two main joints. That's all we need, baby. You know what I mean? So, 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 so for Geechee, he started off. He said we got Geechee Gotti versus 
you took up for a snitch. Mm. I, I like that angle, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 that's the reason why uh, Big K left. Yep. Is because, you know, Jerry West had a little bit of uh, something to say about Adi Bon. Mm -hmm. uh, and I and I do believe because of the fact that they were we we go hard brothers. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why he you know that he did what he did. But at the mm -hmm. same time, he part of the same clique. You know, it's making him choose sides. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I thought that that bar was fire. Mm -hmm. Geechee went into it a little bit more, but the the one that I loved the most was when he says, "I pull up and lift it." And then his girl come out of nowhere. He's like, "What you doing, baby?" He's like, "I'm nothing on the phone." He said, "Nothing on the phone with another victim." Yeah. She says, "Oh, I." Right. He says, see, this quarantine got chicks acting different. This the first time my girl seen me on the phone with a bitch. And she wasn't tripping. Whoa. When you stop rapping like that, he treated His girl came out and said, I see you on the phone with a chick. But she wasn't tripping. Who Yo, are you, who you talking to? Crazy, on the phone with a man. <laughs> that was crazy. Fire, man. Fire, man. I, uh, Geechee was was all conviction, but then like then then I, the thing I loved about Geechee is he was doing his own setups and he was hyping his own self up. Yeah, yeah, he was like, yeah, 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 cause he gonna be looking all extra. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? He ain't need no hype, man. He ain't need he nobody. Like, what yeah, he? yeah, yeah. And the funny thing is like he's like one of the only people that when he's doing this joint, he's standing up in the camera yeah, like, like yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm like, yo, this nigga's hyped like this nigga, I live with real niggas. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> Yeah. Like yo, talk to me, man. Hey, man. Uh, and then you know it was on Wes. Uh, Wes, I, I got two good bars from him, mm -hmm. and that's and that's why I said it's a decided factor for me. Um, because there was one joint where he was like, uh, he was like, uh, he said, Chip, uh, uh, it, it's defense. He did, uh, 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 man, peep the sequence because I thought it was something he messing up. Shit, they I thought he was skipping. Yeah, he, was... he says your girl on the phone saying you was chopped up speechless, and just like the first two bars, she gonna hear you in bits and pieces. <clears throat> Listen, Jerry, I don't know what you're doing right now, sir, but I, I like it. I, I like it. I, I, I like that. That and we doing this in the house by himself. It's just him. It's just you. Just see the door. All right, and then. The one I like where he goes, uh, he says, toss me something. No rush challenge. <laughs> he said, cause something getting dis get something getting disfigured. Cause if I get brushed on cam, and if I black out on him, it's gonna look a little bit different, nigga. Oh. <laughs> sorry, man. I, I'm sorry. It, it looked dope. And then it was the nice little brush challenge. I, I don't know. I don't know. Two antics. It was two antics. And I, and it was fine. <laughs> you know, he had like a self self antic because we were in quarantine. And then he had an actual one. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not saying, you know, I want to see more of the bat. Mm -hmm. But to me, if I had to pick a winner, I had Jerry West in that one. Not to mention, he said, if, I, if he get booked again, this will be a world record. Mm. If he get booked again, this will be a world record. Mm. Book Guinness world record, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I, I caught that. But, uh, Geechee, no slight. But, mm -hmm. I, I was peeping those bars too. It was a little bit clear, clearer on that side. Uh, I love what Jerry West did. I'll take Geechee got in mm -hmm. this one. I felt like the conviction was there, the bars was there, the aggression was there, uh, the delivery was there too. But you can, I can go Jerry West too. I like the innovation. I like how witty he was. I like how he did the no rush challenge. I like. The, the brush challenge too, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I like how he was able to just flip things and continue to have relevant current hot bars. When I be saying this about Wes, let me get this. Go ahead. When I be saying this, what I be saying, what I say, what I be saying, when I be saying what I be saying about we need them big stage bars, big stage performances, big stage. And when I say, I'm not saying on a big stage, I'm saying stuff that's relevant and that's fire mm. this is what i'm talking about time brings change and you need to deliver like this this is the type of sh that i'm talking about mm -hmm. like you what you did there you went and found that man and you came back to me so now we ain't i ain't got no issue with it i loved what you did give us and maybe you could give us another one or two of these uh quarantine joints you ain't got nothing going on anyway you know what i'm saying now you probably do but i like what he was i just loved what Jerry West did. I was very impressed. Like, that's the thing I could say about with what Jerry West did today. I was highly impressed. He's winning wars. Yes. And that's, and, and that's where the narrative for Jerry West is. You can count him out mm -hmm. if you put somebody, especially if you name a top tier name versus Jerry West, it's going to be, all right, well, I'm going to go with the top tier name because I don't know what Jerry West is going to bring. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that 
Jerry West can be doubted like that as much. And we, look, I'm gonna say this: we did the, we did the same thing to John John, mm. and you see and you see where he at with it. So and Jerry West is right along that same thing where we can be like, oh man, I don't think he gonna win this one. I don't think, but he still shows up and does something different to the game. Mm -hmm. man. I like it, man. This one, I'm cool with, you know what I'm saying? You know, most fiends, they just try to chase that first high, you know what I'm saying? I right. feel like with the Tay Rock and the Mike P battle, I didn't get, you know, that level of potency. Mm -hmm. This one was definitely potent. So, it's quarantine. I'm a fiend. I need all of these things. Yeah, uh, like I said, both delivered. Very entertaining. Watched it twice. Um, I do like at the end of the video. I smack ask people how they doing, what mm -hmm. their family got going on, how mm -hmm. everything, how they maintain it. Because what I must say is, regardless of who you are, I don't care how big you are, I don't care how small you are, I don't care how famous, how popular, how much money you're making, every single person has been affected by this in some way. Thanks. There's very few situations in the world where everybody is affected in some way or another. Like, everybody. Even if you haven't been hugely affected to where you like lost a job or things like that nah. you can't move the way you want to you're not yeah. jumping on no planes right now you're not able to be in you can't even go to a restaurant sit down and get nothing to eat right now pick it up this is difference between everything that's going on so to have uh what we love so dearly which is battle rap affected by it to where there's no events no live no face to face and they still able to put on like this i think that is definitely uh worth the wow and that's the reason why we go so hard and continue to put out content because i know we could have just packed it up we could have easily packed it up just during this time frame mm -hmm. and been like yo when, when it comes back around it comes back around but i think if battle rap as a whole is going so hard to continue working then i think that it's worth continuing what we're doing because we have a subscriber base of people who look to us for what's going on what's new the news what's relevant mm -hmm. and we could easily do videos but good thing you live in the proximity of me that's very close i could we could easily do videos we've yeah. talked about doing videos of battles but it just don't get that it that, that it just don't get that back up when it's in front of you you know what i'm saying don't get that feel. It just, it just don't get that feel man so everybody uh, and and, that's, and you know just to piggyback you know a lot of the things that we you know watch right now everybody's doing stuff at home everybody's doing stuff like via video chat mm -hmm. i mean why not uh, let us be the, the the main people that still can get busy right here mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like like it's still we get together that's not a problem you know what i'm saying and it's another thing too and it's a, a big plus for battle rap because Ain't no Drake shows going on, mm -mm. you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no whole shows, ain't like a lot of these people's albums dropping and they not doing shows like that. But battles are still dropping, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's something, and it, and I and I, and that's something you gotta applaud to the battle rap culture. Battle rap is the only culture that does not care what's going on. Right. We, we still, still gotta we put still out rocking. We still rocking. Mm -hmm. We still rocking like cut off stock, and let's get it popping. Other than that, salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Ricegang.myshopify.com. Log on, get something for your mom. I'm gone. <laughs> Nigga, how you smoke weed, nigga? Well, we got it by the peas, nigga. This shit a breeze, nigga. I can do this shit with ease, nigga. Like, fuck you, man, nigga. We got scouts, we got beans, nigga. Oh, that's your team, nigga. Well, I'm a team inside a team, nigga. Got a bunch of team niggas that do anything for the team, nigga. This life a dream, nigga. But I splatter a nigga dreams, nigga. This not a dream, nigga. Get down before I spill your beans, nigga. Yo, bitch a fiend, nigga. Deep in her tummy, watch her cream, nigga. She hit them knees, nigga. Dick in her mouth, I'm about to ski in it. That's what she eat, nigga. Dick and balls, she a freak, nigga. She real petite, nigga. But that's your bitch, you can keep, nigga. I I've been a beast, nigga. In the field trying to sleep, nigga. So what you reap, nigga? You selling hammers? I need three, nigga. Supply the beast.